Does it say anywhere in the Bible that Jesus descended into hell? I know it's in the Apostles' Creed. And believe me, that is certainly accurate, and it says it in the Scripture, unfortunately, but we need to interpret it. There are several things that need to be interpreted here. And by the way, I'm turning now to 1 Peter, the third chapter, verse 18. And Peter writes here, he says, For Christ also hath once suffered for sins, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but quickened by the Spirit, by which also he went and preached unto the spirits in prison, which sometime were disobedient. Well, what spirits is he talking to, and when did he speak to them? All right, here is the when. When did the Lord Jesus speak? When once the long-suffering of God waited in the days of Noah while the ark was a preparing wherein that his eight souls were saved by water. And these people were in the ark with Noah, and Noah had preached for 120 years. And there's a great company of people there that had heard the message that Noah had to give. And it was the message, actually, of salvation. Judgment is coming, and the way that you can avoid the judgment is to get in the ark. And that is exactly our message today. It's the gospel. Judgment is coming on this world. Judgment is coming to the sinner. The soul that sinneth it shall die. Judgment's already been leveled against us. What is the escape? To get in Christ. How do you get in Christ? We're told there's therefore no condemnation to those that are in Christ. How do you get in Christ? Well, you get in Christ by the baptism of the Holy Spirit. When you trust the Lord Jesus, you are baptized by the Holy Spirit and put into the body of believers, and that body of believers is the bride of Christ and is Christ. So that's the way that you get in. And so that was the message that Christ gave in the days of Noah. And I think in light of the fact that he's going to come to the earth and die for the sins of the world. Now, I think that probably we ought to be maybe a little bit more specific here now. It says that Jesus descends into hell. Now, let me go on and read. Which sometime were disobedient when once the long-suffering of God waited in the days of Noah while the ark was a preparing when few, that is, eight souls, were saved by water. And he says that the Christ suffers for sins for us that he might bring us to God, being put to death, quickened by the Spirit, which also he went and preached to the spirits in prison. Well, what is the prison? Well, it's the place where the lost people go. And the Apostles' Creed call that hell. Well, hell, translated in the King James, is not what we think of as hell. It's the Greek word Hades, and translated Hades should be translated that way. And it's the same as Sheol in the Old Testament. And it's the place that the dead go, the lost dead go when they die. And they're saved today, absent from the body, present with the Lord. But the lost go to this place, and it's not hell. Hell, we think of it, is a place of eternal abode. It hasn't been opened up to do business yet. It will not be opened up till the false prophet is put there. He apparently will be the first one that will be put in that place. 